Okay, kids, this is similar to your assigned problem 4A2. The first thing you want to do when you open up your homework is, uh, is get your adjustment data here. I've already recorded the first one. See, what happened here is that the company had paid $900 in advance in a prepaid rent account sometime before March. And the month uh, expiration of the rent has to be recorded. And when you prepay anything such as like your rent here and your supplies, as, as those costs get used up, they have to be expensed. So I needed to debit rent expense and credit prepaid rent. That will reduce the prepaid rent account after I extend the uh, worksheet. Mind you, this is just like being in a journal or in the account itself, okay? The account would take up a 250 debit rent expense, the credit to the prepaid expense account, uh, the prepaid uh, rent account would get reduced by 250. Now the landscaping supplies on hand left over is 175. Now if I look at the trial balance, unadjusted it says one a twelve seventy five for a uh, a balance in that account well that's how much we bought and put on hand uh, and classified as an asset now st small stuff like landscaping supplies like uh, for example grass seed or fertilizer or, or whatever uh, they don't they don't expense it as it's used up but rather Typically, they take an inventory at the end of the period uh, of the remaining supplies, and you can see that there's only a hundred. Well, there's only a hundred and seventy-five dollars worth of the supplies left, so that you used quite a bit of that twelve seventy-five, didn't you? Because we need to put only one seventy-five as an asset on the balance sheet. That's an asset. It. It's, 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 it's not right. It has to be adjusted. So that's the purpose of the adjusting entry is to update accounts. I'm going to grab the calculator here from question help just to make sure I do this right. So that if we started with or had available 1275, I guess you can click right in there. Uh, you can do it on your keyboard as well. And then we want to back out. Uh, we want to back out the remaining inventory of the 175, 175, and then he hit the equals, and that would give you the notion or the fact that 1100 has been used up. So a used up cost becomes an expense, so that I've got to debit into the landscaping supplies expense account for $1,100. And then we've got to come up, and in the credit side, uh, we've got to get in B. That would be then a reduction of uh, $1,100, so that you can probably foresee the fact that that $1,275, once I back out that $1,100, the remaining supplies will be reported at $175 as adjusted. The standard entry for depreciation uh, is simply to expense the used up portion. This is a plant asset, the uh, landscaping equipment, the lawn mowers, whatever, the backhoes, whatever they have. Okay, and what we do is we have to write that cost off. That stuff's not going to last forever, but when we bought it, it cost us 1600 and we have to write that off over its expected useful life. They've already wrote, written off $880, more than half of it. Uh, but they kept the amount of depreciation accumulated. That's a contra asset against that 1600 Now, what we're going to do is we're going to do take the expense for the current period's uh, income statement and, and give it a debit of 150 Okay, now note that there's already a 880 balance in there. We've got to add to that transaction C, adjustment C. We've got to come here and add 150 to the accumulated depreciation. So that 880 is going to go up to what, 1030? 
so that when we get the 1030 balance and do our balance sheet, listen, that's going to be 880 plus 150, I think is 1030. The 1030 will be deducted from the 1600, which shows the remaining book value of the landscaping equipment. So you need to study as much as you can. This is something new uh, to you. Uh, we could have recorded directly into the uh, credit side of the equipment account all along, but the accounting uh, procedure usually uh, likes to show the original cost on the balance sheet so the readers can see how much we paid for it, A, and B, how much has been written off. Prior to this month, we wrote off 880, so the book value was 1600 minus 880. And now when adding this 150, that, as I just said, that 880 is going to go up to, I believe, uh, 1030, which then will be subtracted from the 16. So the book value will go down. And this last one here has to do with the accrual of uh, wages. And what that means is uh, we've had employees work for us about, uh, since the last paycheck. And now it's the end of the month. Uh, March 31st, so they work two or three days, whatever, but they they are still unpaid because payday uh, it comes in April, but we still, because the expense was incurred in the month of March, we have to add that $600 into the wages expense account. So prior to this, there had been 1280 and now in D, uh, we're going to add to the rent, excuse me, the wage expense account for the $600. So we put that in there, and then the credit half is uh, expresses the, the notion that we, uh, fact rather, that we owe, right, wages payable, Right, an expense that has been incurred but not paid, that's what an accrual is, accumulating an, of an expense uh, that you haven't recorded as an expense. Now you got to record the expense because you're preparing financial statements. So we're going to be jacking that 1280 up to like uh, 1880 uh, $600 more. But the fact is that we haven't paid it. So, uh, uh, the, uh, 18, excuse me, the 600 has to be added, uh, to the, uh, to the, uh, wages payable account. And that will be extended down, uh, across as we continue the problem. So what I'm going to do is stop this one at seven minutes. All right. And uh, in the meantime, well, let me pause it. Hold on here. Let me just pause this if I can. So what I did there is I totaled up each of these adjustments columns, and they proved to be 2100. And I think I'm ready to check the answer. I hope I'm right. Fantastic. Okay, so what I'm going to do is uh, create a new video to show you the next part of the same problem.